Hi guys, Krista here, and we have an update for my mod. Welcome my Thronex. Okay, let's go into it. Okay, so for starters, there are three variants. Normal, X, R. They have male, female, sexual dimorphism. Uh, so for the normal variant, here is the male and female. Here's the male, female. The male has an additional color on its toes and neck, while the female uh, just uses the same colors as the body. For the X snow variant, the male has additional patterns that the female doesn't. And then the same goes for the R. The male has additional patterns that the female doesn't. Okay. Let's talk about their saddles. They have two saddles. They have a normal saddle and a tech saddle. Normal saddle allows riding. Pretty basic, but still looks pretty cool. Their other saddle is the tech saddle. You need to have unlocked this to use it. And features some shoulder, well, body mounted cannons. Requires elements to use, and you have to have the engram to use it. Okay, so what can Lithronax do? Lithronax has a couple different abilities. Starters, it has a bite and a tail attack. If you're facing forward, your left click does a bite. If you're facing behind you, it'll do a directional attack, depending on the angle. Well, for the most part, depending on where you are looking. Okay, the next one is on X. You have to be moving or walking to use this. The headbutt attack. There's a short delay to use this attack, but you have to be moving. If you're not moving, you can't use it. The next abilities require you to be in a pack. So, Lithronax have both packs and gangs. In the wild, they just have packs, but once tamed, you can get gangs. That allows them to be stronger. So, this female over here has the pack alpha. But I want this one to be the alpha right now. There's level up. Now, mine will be the alpha. Extra level in there. So, now you can unlock two new, new abilities. One, the C attack. Both you and your um, pack mate, you know, up to two additional pack mates for a total of three, get this special buff. Uh, Gore King's Roar. You move faster, do more damage, heal better, other neat things. Another attack that they have is only for the pack alpha, but this special Gore Bite. It has a significant cooldown, but it has the RG3 gen ability for the kill if you eat a corpse, and can inflict a special new uh, disease called hemophilia. Um, there's a the initial bite does kind of like a bleed style damage, and then there's a about a 10% chance that you'll get a very long uh, debuff called hemophilia. This allows your creature, the one that's affected by this, they will take more damage in general. They'll be weaker, and you can use um, a Pranosuchus uh, or Hyneria, or not Pranosuchus, Snow Owl, Deodon, whatever, to heal the creature up, get rid of that buff. And those are the attacks. So let's get into taming and whatnot. So over here I have a taming pen. Um, I have one locked up. They do fit between the uh, smaller gates. You, you need to have an additional way to trap it. Um, they have a special tame method, so let's talk about what they eat. Um, once you have, there's a couple steps, but you will need several creatures. So from worst to best, the Parasaur does the least amount of taming. Uh, Mossdrops, Pheomia, Triceratops, Deodon does the most amount of taming. You can use both wild or tamed ones. Um, so if you want to breed a bunch of Deodons, that will be the best, but if you are... If you're just taming these out in the wild, whatever, and you find whatever, that works too. So what you'll need to do is get them down to 20% health. Now you can use any damage type, any damage type, get them to 20%. I 
I have a crossbow with me, that'll work. I have an Inostrain Sevio, that'll work. You can use guns, you can use poison, fire, whatever. It just needs to get to 20%. So, I'm going to use my Inostrain Sevio to take the tank the hits for me while I shoot this guy. So now I did enough damage and it roared. So now it's passive. It will no longer attack me whilst it has that. Now if I damage it, uh, say I shoot him or punch him or whatever, then yes, he will become aggressive again. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to grab your sacrifice and drag the body over to the Lythronex. So in a sense, it's very much like an otter and Kalenkin combined. Has to get to 20%. And you have to feed it a body. So this is a very low level one. Um, you need to wait 30 seconds between feeding it. And so this one's going to require two different corpses. We'll get the strike next. If your life thrown X loses the uh, lower on the head, as in it heals above 20%, you will need to re damage it below 20. It will not lose taming effectiveness whilst you re-damage it, but it will not tame until it has that special glow below 20%. So keep an eye on that. Higher level ones will require more damaging, um, so you need to keep that in mind. Once they're tamed, they're free to use. You do need to saddle with them. I recommend a taming trap because while they are neutral to you, they will just wander around. Um, as well as when they're aggressive to you, you do not want to get mauled by them. Because you yourself are also susceptible to hemophilia. Like all my creatures, if you kill them, you have a chance to get a chibi or a saddle blueprint, unless you choose to use the INI I have provided to disable their dropping of saddles. I hope you learned some great information about Lythornex, and good luck taming them! Bye!